Hello viewers, welcome back. So this is the fourth video as part of our series of video of the playlist of power of data analysis. So in this video, let us explore the next report under the data analysis of verification of chart of account. This report that we are going to see is the report of not used ledgers. So let us go to tally and explore this report and see what are the inferences that we can achieve from this report and take action based on the exception that is getting reported in the report. In the last video, we explored ledgers available in the previous year, but they have been deleted in the current year. In this video, we will understand the report of not used, which will provide another dimension of information. Look at the number of ledgers in the bracket. There are 13 ledgers which have been part of chart of account for both the years, but they have not been used in the previous year as well as in the current year. Let us now drill down to view these 13 ledgers. These are the list of 13 ledgers. And if you notice that in the current year also, there is no transaction or there is no closing balance. And in the previous year also, there are no transactions and closing balance. Let us take the first ledger, Aperio Enterprises. You want to know to which group they belong to. For you to now view these ledgers along with their grouping, all you have to do is press F12 configure or click on F12 configure. Set this option, show name of the group to yes, just press Y, enter. By setting this to yes, in the report, we will see the immediate group of the ledger. Now the next option, show primary group. Let us set this to yes again. Now in the report, tally will display the immediate group and the parent of the immediate group also. Once we save this report, we shall understand better. So let's save this report by pressing Ctrl A. Notice here each ledger now is reported with the immediate group and also the primary group. Additionally, if you want to view this report in Stripe view, again press F12 and set this option enable Stripe view to yes now we are able to view the report with the stripe view which is easy to read let us understand what is this primary group if you notice all these ledgers have the group and the primary group same which means these are the default group provided in tally now when you come down to vehicle maintenance the immediate group of the vehicle maintenance is repairs and maintenance which is an user defined group and this group's parent is indirect expenses by enabling primary group we will be able to ascertain the ledger belongs to revenue or non-revenue now what are the action points we can derive out of this report a since these ledgers have not been transacted in both the years, they are redundant and can be deleted from the current year's chart of account. Now, if you want to delete the ledger right from this report, provided that you are the client or the accountant who wants to clean up the master using this verification of chart of account, all you have to do is just select the name of the ledger and press control enter it will take you to the ledger master alteration screen and since there are no balances or transactions tally will now allow you to delete this ledger all you have to do is when you press alt d it will ask you do you want to delete and when you press enter you will notice here that the ledger name of computer is deleted already from the current year's books of account. Now, in case if you are an auditor, then you can mark the selected ledger as verified and provide notes as delete this ledger as an action point for the client. The other inference that we can get out of these ledgers being created, but not transacted. Let us take the example of license fee. Actually, the company would have paid license fee to some kind of a department. That is the reason why they have created this ledger 
maybe two years back. The next analysis that can be done on this report is that why license fee has not been paid for the last two years. So this is another angle which we can take while analyzing this particular report. Or if you have a doubt or you want to find out, you can put this ledger on hold and provide the explanation or clarification that you want to see. Also notice that there is license fee and license fee payable is also there. That means at some point in time, maybe two years back, they would have paid license fee. Now, if the auditor has a doubt why license fee is not being captured in the last two years, this is where the verification status is going to help the auditor. So now all you have to do is just press enter and put it on hold and then we can put the verification note as need clarification on license fee not transacted and accept this. Now you will see the verification status as on hold and we also saw earlier that if you want to see the verification note in the report all you have to do is just press F12 and here you have this option which says show verification note make it as yes control A and we will see the verification note here for this ledger on this status. Let us take another example of rent. We know that the company is paying rent, but why it is not recorded in this ledger? Now you can quickly go to profit and loss account and verify if rent has been debited to any other ledger name. So all you have to do is click on go to and just type profit and you will get the profit and loss account report enter come down to indirect expenses and press shift enter so that the ledgers under the indirect expenses will get exploded and notice here they have actually debited rent not in the rent ledger but they have created another ledger called office rent and the rent has been debited for the year so now we know that rent has been accounted and this is a redundant ledger so we can delete this the way i showed earlier likewise we can check each ledger accordingly and take a call to delete this redundant ledger masters this way the current year chart of account is cleaned up and will be trimmer i hope this report would give you a fair idea of why these ledgers have been created and not transacted in both the years and if there are any transactions not captured for these ledgers can be captured in the current year and we also saw that how easy and simple it is to delete the ledgers which are not being used in the current year as well as in the previous year. So thank you all once again for staying till the end. See you all in the next session. Thank you very much.